I've spent the last five months working on this new engine. And in the process of working on this, I have learned how to make my 3D printed compressors much better. I wanna break down why this works much better than this and how you can make your own 3D printed compressors way better. So fundamentally, a compressor creates pressure by accelerating air, adding energy to it, and then slowing it down through the geometry of the diffuser. So essentially what we're doing is we're adding energy to the air via the impeller, right? The air gets sucked in and spat out the side of the impeller into this diverging duct here, which as it expands, it slows it down. And because we've added energy to the air, as it slows down, it has to transfer its energy somehow, right? So it goes from being fast moving air to being slow moving air with pressure and heat added to it. It leaves this channel into this larger volute casing, which is also an expanding duct. Our diameter increases from here all the way down to here. So at every stage of this channel, the air is constantly expanding. This expand expansion is what increases its pressure. It's the same idea that it lets airplanes fly. The shape of an airplane wing is such that air has to travel over the airplane wing, which means it has to travel faster than the air going underneath it. And this increase in speed creates a lower pressure and sucks the airplane up, essentially. We're using the same idea, but in reverse, where instead of speeding air up to create low pressure, we're slowing air down to create high pressure. And that's the whole point of this. If we look at our previous design, the channels of the diverging duct are significantly smaller and have a significantly smaller divergence ratio, which should mean that this has a significantly smaller compression ratio. Again, looking at the volute casing of this one, we can also see that the ratio of the divergence here is also significantly smaller, which again means it has a lower compression factor. So theoretically speaking, this compressor should make way more pressure than this one, just because of its design. It's still got the same motors that were powering the old one. And so same power input, same everything, right? And we're gonna test that out by strapping it to this guy and we should get way more power out of it. Now, if you wanna print something like this, but don't have a printer or don't have a printer big enough to print something as big as this, I have something that will give you guys the ability to actually pull it off. And that is today's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay offers services like CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and PCB manufacturing and assembly, meaning that all you need to start your own projects is to export an STL or step file of your design, log into PCBWay.com, upload your file into the service you would like, and hit submit, and then have your parts delivered directly to your door. <laughs> yes! PCBWay was kind enough to make and send me these custom stainless steel machine parts, which will be going into this new engine. Big thanks to them for sponsoring this channel and making this kind of stuff possible. We love to see progress. So in my astronomical brilliance, the pipe I grabbed um, is too small. I thought it was a two inch, but uh, apparently it's not. I'm gonna have to fix that. Oh, look at that fit. Oh, yes. Wow. Oh. And it's like we didn't even mess up. All right, I'm gonna go weld it. This guy here is what I'm going to be hooking my fuel line onto. Previously, this was the fuel line, kind of just went in up there. And uh, it, it's just fuel through into the nozzle, the nozzle is threaded in, and that's all it is. And so it's, this guy's the same idea. So this kind of fits together. See, it's poking out at that end. I'll crimp that over. And then it just kind of sits like that. It just uh, shoots the fuel right into the combustion chamber.
Okay. Test is hot. Okay, in the last test we ran out of propane, so I bought two more cylinders, and because I have two more cylinders, and because I wanted to see the upper limits of what this thing can do, I hooked both propane cylinders up. I had to make a new nozzle for it, so that uh, we can actually get enough fuel into the combustion chamber, but we should be all good to go now. So I'm gonna start with one propane cylinder, and we'll see how that performs, and then I'll go to two propane cylinders, and uh, we'll see what this thing can do. Propane on. Compressor is quite a bit underpowered, and I have a new engine. I built a turbojet engine for us to work on in the future here. And thanks to PCBWay, we now have the parts to actually finish that engine. So in the next video, we're going to be putting it together and hopefully testing it out for the first time. Kicking off a new era on this channel, we've entered the turbojet age. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.